Hey guys, thank you very much for checking out this video. Today I'm going to go over four tips for first time home buyers looking to get into the market in 2017. Uh, what I'll do is I'll write a blog, uh, basically the same tips of this video, and I'll post it in the comments for you so uh, you can read it whenever you want. Um, okay, so let's go ahead, get going here. I mean, you know, searching for a home, especially as a first time home buyer, is a very exciting experience. I mean, searching out potential properties where you can envision yourself growing your family is just, it's an amazing experience. So nothing's worse when your heart gets broken, when you find that property, you put in an offer, and you find out that you, you can't afford it. So here's some tips to help avoid that. So especially with the new rules, guys, uh, tip number one, putting uh, a larger down payment. Uh, anything less than 20%, uh, you're gonna have to get that mortgage insured, and it's just, it's like throwing away money, right? So, um, okay, so tip number two, get educated. A good way to do that is to talk to your realtor, talk to your lender, but at the same time, you wanna do some research for yourself so you have a better understanding. Um, okay, tip number three, you wanna check your credit score uh, so you know that when you go to apply for that loan, are you gonna be in good standing? Uh, are they gonna give it to you? So anything, a good rule of thumb, anything over 750, uh, you're in good standing. Um, you know, but here's a here's a really good tip for you. Don't check it too many times. Once you check it, write it down somewhere. Because once you check it too many times, you're gonna get red flagged. Uh, it's a silly reason, but uh, I guess the reasoning behind it is, you know, you're trying to shop around for the lowest rate because you potentially couldn't afford the one that you were offered originally. I know it's silly, but it's, it's true, right? So tip number four, getting uh, get pre-approved. I know that may seem obvious, but a lot of people still go shopping and uh, without getting pre-approved. Now, getting pre-approved does not mean that you're approved for that house. There's a lot of different factors that go into it, um, like the actual value of the home when the bank assesses it. Uh, but again, you're gonna have a better understanding of the price range that you can have, a, uh, that you're searching in, and uh, it's gonna be all around um, very helpful when, when searching for properties. So guys, thank you very much. Like I said, I'll put the blog in the comments. If you have any questions, go to andrewperryrealestate.com or give me a message on Facebook. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.